I'm honestly, like, not nervous at all. You're not nervous? You know how I grew up. How Do you, you know how I grew up? Yeah, you grew up on the east side, not the west side. You grew up on the east side. Excuse me? Do you know how many African American people live on the east side? Okay, but... <laughs> exactly. It's literally, like, the west side, basically. <laughs> okay, but you didn't, like, you didn't grow up, like, with... The African culture. You grew up with the Mexican culture. Like. No, I was. What the hell? Are you, you went through about? a struggle, but you didn't. Go I grew through, up like, in like both, like both. I hung who out did with. Who didn't know that was black? All of my friends were only like I had like three Mexican friends that were girls and maybe some boys. So you think you know what you're doing? No, 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 no. Just mm. because I grew up with them doesn't mean that we were talking about like okay. culture and reading on Harriet <coughs> Tubman and shit, no. Okay, like, what is up you guys? Welcome to a brand new video. I'm actually excited for this video. So in honor of Black History Month, I am going to be seeing how black my Mexican girlfriend is. Pretty much how this video is gonna go is I'm gonna ask Anicia questions based off of the black culture or what the black culture would be expected to go through during like a struggle or whatever like stereotypes based off of black culture. I'm not gonna go into detail about no like no history because Anicia I know a little bit of history this much. Okay. Who is the first president of the United States? George Washington. <laughs> hey Google. What? Who is the first president of the United States? George Washington was the first president of the United Somewhere on the screen I'm gonna have a spectrum. On the top of the spectrum, I'ma have invited to the cookout. At the bottom of the spectrum, I'ma be like, not invited to the cookout. Okay. Let's be very specific why you're doing this. Devontae is half black for those of you who oh, don't yeah, know. Oh yeah, yeah, So I don't Devon want people thinking like, yeah, why are they doing this? This creepy little skin don't mean nothing. <laughs> no, but- From the waist down. From the waist down? You're black from the waist down? Alright guys, yes, yeah, so as Anisia said, I'm 50% black and I'm pretty sure something that you want to say is that you are 5% black so she can't, she can't say the N word but she can say Nick. You can say no. Nick. So we recently did um, the Ancestry.com uh, thingy and um, your girl was 3% from Congo so I mean I low-key like originated there so. So I'm gonna start Anisia off in the middle of the spectrum and if she gets so many questions wrong or right she'll go up, down, down, up, down, down, down. And then we'll find out if she's invited to the cookout. What if there's people who don't know what a cookout is? There's nothing we can do about so that. So cookout is read up on it. <laughs> yeah, an urban dictionary. So I'm gonna put the urban. <coughs> So you guys can read up on what a cookout is. Um, but other than that, if you guys haven't already, make sure you smash the video with a huge thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe to your YouTube channel. Also, hit the little bell icon down below to get notified every single time we what? Post a new video. And so for those of you who are new to this channel, or at least relatively new, my name is Devonta. My name's Amicia. Her, Her name's Juliet. Juliet. His name's Sire. And, and this, this is the Life of Us vlog. Where every day it's more. more. What's well, like a catchy thing we could say for this video? Cool. in today's video we have a promo um so this is throughout the duration of me being sick i actually have been playing a game called lost island blast adventure it's actually a game that anicia plays also and she actually did a promo on this game uh, a while back but now i want to do this promo because i'm further than her so lost island is an app that you can download on all ios devices and android devices via the store or whatever so lost island is pretty much it's a challenging game where you go through all these levels they're like puzzle levels that you have to beat you like build stuff on your own personal island and yeah. you pretty much personalize your own island you go through different levels and stuff like that and like it's pretty much it's kind of like The Sims. It kind of looks like The Sims, except way better because it's like way better. It's in your hands, and you can pretty much play it anywhere you go. Me and Devonte are really competitive when it comes to both of the islands. His is looking cute right now, or whatever, but mine is gonna look the best once I get up to where you, you are. But whatever, I think it's really cool, especially because in the game, as you go, you earn different stars and points. Right? You get to complete your island by using different like decorative styles and stuff yeah. like that. And There's also really characters. Really cool. There's characters throughout the game that you can also interact with and have like relationships with yeah. and stuff like that. Not like mingling relationship relationships, but I mean like you, you guys become different buddies friendships and stuff, like and stuff. So as you guys can see on the screen right now, this is my island. This is actually the first area that you start off when you first play the game. Um, so you have your little shack right there. 
you start making your way over to different portions of the island when you beat levels and stuff like that. I'm currently on level 172, and honestly, I, it's just it's just what I like to do on my free time. So this is my beautiful island right here. So right now I'm currently on this. Oh, I love this. Yeah, so I'm on this portion of the island right now. I have to beat a couple more levels and then I'll be able to make my way over to either this side or this side. So I'm actually almost done with the game because so, I only have like, all, well, I uh, have all of this left. Okay. You are not almost done with the I game. I still got, got a lot to go. <laughs> okay, guys, so I'm going to start uh, one of the levels right now so that way you guys can see like what the whole point of the game is pretty much. So I am on this level right here. I have to get 40 pineapples and 18 seashells. So I pretty much just have to like find blocks and pretty much like make my way up to. There's two yellow ones. Too. Yeah, so. Two more yellow. During levels like these, I'll retry with maybe like some boosters or whatever, which will make the game like a little bit more easier for me. Um, you could always buy boosters or you get points and stuff like that with like by completing levels. So just by using these boosters, it'll it'll just make my life a little bit more easier. And <laughs> just like I just honestly just go through the levels and stuff like that, just like that simple. So when you start beating levels, you actually start getting stars, and these stars are actually very vital to the progression of the game because you need the stars in order to do different things throughout your island and to like they'll let you unlock different decorative styles for your island. You can build yeah. things with the stars. You can um unlock little presents, treasures that you get, and then also isn't there like like things that that you find yeah you actually find things while you're progressing through the game like inventory these yeah. things right here they're just like little collectibles or they're also things that will help me throughout the progression of my game eventually yeah. so honestly you guys this game is really fun it's a very very time consuming which is what I freaking love about it most um, yeah. so if there's anything that I'm not doing or if Nisi's doing her makeup while I'm waiting to record a video then I'll kind of just hop on Lost Island and pretty much just play. You will get seven lives and 700 coins once you download the game using the link down below inside the description, you guys. Trust me, those coins and those lives will come in handy and they're extremely vital because this game gets very difficult at times. So use that link inside the description down below and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, so I have a couple of questions in my notes section that I have planned to ask Anicia to figure out if she is going to be invited to the cookout or not. So this question is kind of stereotypical. You know what I mean? Okay. What is a black mama's favorite thing to use whenever she upset and her ass open is coming? Anything? Like anything she can get find? <laughs> that kind of goes for every mama. What's stereotypical towards like a black mom? Like what is a what is a black mom use? Wooden spoon? A wooden spoon? Well, I was thinking more of like a wire hanger. Or a, a, wire a switch. Hanger. A switch. Oh, you never heard like a black mom using a switch. So I don't know if that's considered like you an invited point or you are not invited point? Uh, well, I didn't say switch, so. So that's a not invited point. The second question is, who is Ricky and how did he die? <gasps> oh, Ricky! Oh my God. Okay, so Ricky is from Boys in the Hood. And so basically, um, what, it was, it's Boys in the Hood, right? Keep it going. I don't know. Like, like, give my brother's ball back. That one? Yeah. Okay, but anyways, okay, so Ricky was basically, um... I don't remember that part. Okay, I'm gonna just give you a, a you invite a point right out the bat, so you back to where you started. Finish this sentence. When we get up in this stove... <laughs> <laughs> this is for every mom. That is not just... It's, I don't care about every other mama. This okay. ain't about every when other mama. When we get up in the store, don't touch shit, Ooh. don't ask for shit, don't say shit, Ooh. don't smell shit, Ooh. don't... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, your mama told you not to smoke shit? When is Black History Month? February. She ain't as stupid as I thought. Okay, baby, it's looking good. You in the green portion now. You almost invited. Yeah. Okay, what does a black grandma refer everyone as? What will my black grandma refer to you as if you meet her or if you were to meet her? A child? I don't nah. Know. Well, yeah, that's, that's kind of true. But everyone, like everyone they see, like everyone that's younger. A, a youngin? You are really dumb. For real. Your aunt, when I met her. Hey, baby. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's a point lost. I mean, she's she's a grandma, but I feel like a lot of black grandmas refer everyone to as baby. Like my grandma calls hey, all of us baby. It ain't about your grandma. So I'm gonna need you to do something. I'm gonna need you to properly two step. <gasps> I'm gonna need you to properly two step for this show. So get on. Get up. Get up. You don't know how to two step because that's the point lost. I know to keep it shuffle, so let's get <laughs> straight. Are you gonna show me how? Or? No, I ain't gonna show you. Okay, then I don't know how. Oh, you don't know how. And that's the point lost. The negative side effects of medical marijuana, folks. You are so dumb. I need you to finish my sentence. Okay. Stop. Drop. Oh, um, I said it earlier. Five. No, four, wait, no. Three, two. You better finish. 
finish my sentence. I said it earlier. Start. Drop. That's a point game. Name three things you will always see in a true soul person's refrigerator in 10 seconds. Wait, no, it's not no 10 nine, seconds. No. Eight, I've never seen seven, Ozzy's refrigerator. Get up. I've never seen Ozzy's refrigerator. Five. Babe. Four. I've never seen Ozzy's refrigerator. Okay, before. but what would you expect to see? And then I can kind of say. <sighs> I feel like they have a regular Ooh. refrigerator like no, 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 no. You ain't never seen no jugs with initials on it. <laughs> jugs? Huh? Jugs like a oh, OJ with a W no, on no, no, it. No, 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 no. Okay, so what to see is how the refrigerator? <coughs> Ooh, I don't yeah. want to be like, I don't want people to be like. <laughs> nah, like, it's, it's, it's not that. based off of like, stereo well, it is based off of like stereotypical. It has to be in my head because I've yeah. never seen one of the refrigerators. Okay, so what would you think? Well, it's not even based off of what you think. It's what would be expected to see inside. I think they have regular fridge. I think that what I got in my okay, fridge then is what they got in list theirs. Okay, Obviously, they're going to have butter and mayonnaise, but like. Okay, so, so then. What? There's not things that are like, oh, they're for sure having that in the refrigerator. Like, no, I don't know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you that. Maybe either. like pig feet, nothing, hot sauce. Hot sauce? No, that is not no what collard that. greens. Why would that be in the fridge? When it's made. When it's made. Yeah, when it's made, put collard greens inside the refrigerator. You don't put it anywhere else. Come on, baby. Then I don't know. Damn, right now you are right back to where you started. I don't know, because these next questions is going to make it like, it's either a, a hit or miss, whether or not you Hit come. or miss. I guess I never <coughs> miss. <laughs> Sorry. Name five cuisines you'll expect to see at a cookout. Wait, what's a cuisine? Mac and cheese. Okay. Um, Some type of barbecue. Okay. But that's at our barbecues too. So anyways, um, some type of barbecue um, and greens. That's three. Sweet potato pie. <sighs> Um, okay. uh, the the biggest thing, the biggest thing, the most important thing that has to be at a cookout. <gasps> Wait, fried chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you thinking fried chicken? Why are you thinking fried chicken? <laughs> I said barbecue and stuff, so. <laughs> <coughs> yep, but that's like rib. And for the last question, and this is either a hit or a miss, okay? You're in the green right now. You'll still be invited if you get to the middle, but ain't nobody gonna talk to you. And my grandmama? And my papa, they ain't gonna talk to you. Okay. Finish my Finish sentence. My oh, why ya? Hey ya! Officially invited to the cookout, y'all. Congratulations, baby. You invited to the cookout. I was cookout, coming either baby. way. Honestly, I was gonna jump the fence and fight <laughs> him because. All right, y'all. So Nisi is officially invited to the cookout, and this was the official episode of How Black Is My Mexican Girlfriend. Boo 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 boo. boo, boo, boo. No, I'm kidding. You went to school to learn, girl. Oh, I don't know. A B C. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the video with a huge thumbs up. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also hit the little bell icon down below to get notified every single time what? Post a new video. And so for those of you who are new to this channel, at least relatively new, my name is Devante. My name's Anicia. Her name's Juliet. His, His name's Sire. And, and this, this is, is the Life of Us Vlogs. Where every day it's more cookout season. By the way, you guys leave a comment down below if you guys want to see how Mexican my mixed boyfriend is. Oh, that and would be a good video, video, huh? I don't know, mijito. Can you let me talk? <laughs> yeah, if you guys want that video. Oh, what is that? <laughs> ABC. It's easy. One, two, three. ABC. I, 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 I